the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was sitting amongst his companions and he said, in the last 10 nights there is a night where Allah frees from the grasp of the hellfire in one night as many people as he has forgiven in the entire night of Ramadan. So the companions asked, O oh Rasulullah, is this the night of power, Laylatul Qadr? And he said, no. Among yourselves, when a person or a worker completes their work on time, will they not receive their due? And he said, yes, Ya Rasulullah. He said, similarly, on the last night of Ramadan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will compensate those who fasted the day and revived the night in salah and recitation of the Qur'an and he will give them their due on the last night of Ramadan, Laylatul Ja'izah, the night of rewards, they will receive their title from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This Eid will be different from all other Eids. But there is so much that we can do to revive the spirit of Eid and to follow the sunnah of our beloved messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on the day of Eid. We can, on the night of Eid, stand up in prayer and supplication and dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is narrated to us that the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whomever stands up in prayer on the night before Eid, Allah will give life to his heart on, the, uh, on a day when all other hearts will die. Imam Shafi'i giving strength to this narration says that there are five nights that the dua supplications are accepted by Allah and they are blessed nights. He mentions the two nights of Eid, Laylatul Jumu'ah, the night of Friday, the first night of Rajab and the 15th night of Sha'ban. Prepare our house, decorate it with Eid decorations, include our children and our family. Let them join in, make some arts and craft, no matter how imperfect it is, and hang it up around the house. It's a good way of bringing our children and involving them in the spirit of Eid. If we are preparing food for family and friends, also let the family get involved, the young children, the teenagers at home, let them participate. And this is a good time to educate them about the importance of keeping neighborly ties and of gifting, of giving gifts and presents to family and friends. Make sure you send something to your neighbors, whether they're Muslim or non-Muslim. Remember Zakatul Fitr, Zakatul Fitr, which is the alms and the charity that is obligatory upon every Muslim in the month of Ramadan, payable on the day of Eid. Every single person, they should on their behalf Charity should, should be paid to the poor on their behalf, no matter how young and how old. Sit with your children, explain to them the importance of empathy and sharing and giving to the poor on the day of Eid. Just as they are filled with joy and happiness for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, filled with gratitude that they should share that and spread that sp uh, spirit throughout the world. Also, making ghusl, taking a shower for the day of Eid. Taking a shower for the day of Eid, as is narrated to us in the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, begins from midnight up until the Eid prayer time. So take a bath and a shower. Encourage your children to wear their best of clothing, perfume, and when they wake up, the first thing that they should do, and as a family you should come together, no matter if you're going to have breakfast at your grandparents' house or another family member's house, you should as a family come together in the morning and break your fast on the first thing on a date in the morning. An odd number of dates is preferred. This is the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. Then we should re raise our voices in takbirat, in praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and glorifying Him. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, walillahi alhamd. If you are unable to do so in your house, put on a recording, let it be heard throughout the house, encourage the children to recite the takbirat of Eid, which begins from the night of uh, Eid until the Eid prayer on Eid al-Fitr. Also, praying Eid Salah, according to a majority of the ulama and scholars, it is permissible if there is no congregation of Eid, then it is permissible to pray at home. And this is a brilliant opportunity to come with your children and family members and pray together in your home, Salatul Eid, just as you would 
if you were in the masjid. Salatul Eid can be prayed in a complete perfect form or it can be prayed as two raka'at that you pray with the intention of praying raka'atain Salatul Eid so that we can receive the rewards of Salatul Eid and reviving the day of Eid and it builds within our family and within the children in our homes the true spirit of a celebration and gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of Eid. Also, when we're leaving our house and going to visit family and friends, of course, following the rules and the regulations, when, the, when you leave the house, encourage them to recite the dua, Bismillah, tawakkaltu ala Allah, wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah, leaving the house with their left foot, remembering the importance of filial piety, meaning maintaining bonds and connections with families, respecting our, elder, uh, our elders, make sure that we are keeping the bonds of families alive and well, inshallah. This is a day of celebration. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the days of Eid are the days of eating and drinking and shukr, praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Make abundant intentions on that day to revive family uh, bonds, to bring happiness and joy, inshallah, throughout your family and through your community. At Dar ibn Abbas, we will be having a live stream event on the day of Eid. Look out for that. Subscribe to the Dar ibn Abbas live channel and we will be, inshallah, performing the takbirat on that day and we will be giving a khutbah, also a Eid khutbah. Look out for that. Join us on that, on that day. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.